Once you've got Vita opened, define the vehicle profile and select the tool you'll be communicating with, typically the DICE unit. Once you've selected your vehicle, be sure to define the transmission and body style to click OK, then go into the Diagnostics tab. From there, wait for the diagnostics to establish communication. In this case, it's not connected to a vehicle, so we'll simply click OK. Now we'll go into vehicle communication, select the module in question, in this case, the engine control module. From here, we'll typically look at engine speed, mass airflow, ignition angle, boost pressure, and the front O2 sensor. Add these items to the list by clicking the Add to List button at the bottom, and you'll see in the right-hand pane the data will be displayed. You'll also have the option to open it up in a graphical logger if you like. Once completed, you can open up and browse your hard drive to the Vita install directory. And within that folder, find the Systems folder and the Log folder. Inside there, you'll find all the logs that have been done. And inside the Diagnostics folder, you'll find these individual logs that you can then send to us for review.